Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the Landsmeet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen. And I lead her armies. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. You should curb your tongue. This is my city, and no safe place to speak treason. For anyone. There is talk that your illness left you feeble, Eamon. Some worry that you may no longer be fit to advise Ferelden. Illness? Why not call your poison by its true name? Not everyone at the Landsmeet will cast aside their loyalties as easily as you and these sycophants. How long you've been gone from court, Eamon? Don't you recognize Rendon Howe, Arl of Amaranthine, and Terran of High Ever? And current Arl of Denerim, after Urien's unfortunate fate at Ostagar. Truly, it is an embarrassment of riches. You are either very bold or very stupid to threaten the turn before witnesses. Enough, Carthian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash course, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight with your selfish ambitions to the throne. I was not talking to you. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. I would not ask you to, but bear in mind that he will be well protected by his alliance with Loghain. He always seemed the kind of man who enjoyed kicking stray dogs. I would not have thought Loghain would trust him. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmeet. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the lands meet then.
yes. Thunder Humper. Yes. Yes. Lynching, Sten. I'm not going to harm you. I do not fear harm to myself. What is that supposed to mean? An unbound mage is like a wildfire, as prone to simply consume itself as it is to devour all that surrounds it. I do wish you wouldn't refer to mages as it. Those stung with a hundred arrows. Strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon. Just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this Chantry. <laughs> Right again. <laughs> it is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. I need parchment, quill, and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Mafarath's final days, and perhaps more. I know, it's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. I was getting to that part. Magic exists. Man and never... A little something extra. For friendship.
Did you bring more scales? I want to try again. I've learned so much. Wade, please leave the customer alone. How can I help you? Um... You must be kidding. We're done. No... Heron, <laughs> more scales. I can make another set. Dear Andraste, no. I've been thinking every night about what I'd do different. It's all in my head. Dear Heron, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just give me the scales, friend, and I'll have my finest work for you. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders. Think of the possibilities. I have something for you. The market district is a whole sight better because of what you've done for us. I know this may not be much, but it's an extra thanks. A lot of folks swallow whatever lies are fed to them, but us believers will try and spread word about you and the Wardens. Thanks. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation, too. You're the youngest Kuzland, aren't you? Probably looking for coin or men to take your turn here back then. You're better off asking the Darkspawn. They hold West Hills now. Shouldn't you be dead, then? How quick did you cut Leash and run at Ostagar? No matter. I've nothing left for you to take, Grey Warden. Not even my sons. You are wasting your time here. Well, I can see how you might miss it. All of southern Ferelden covered by black clouds, the ground rotting beneath your feet, plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I've nothing for you anyway. Even you must admit there's a suspicious rash of mortality among the advisors to the Crown. Bryce, Urian, Eamon. Eamon's not dead, more's the pity. The only thing that truly worries me is Eamon's notion of putting this bastard on Marek's throne. It's an ill precedent. True. I would rather see Anora keep the throne myself. Better it passes to the McTeer line than to some bite blow. You're being very foolish. Why would Loghain leave half our own army to die when a blight threatens? I take him at his word. The battle could not be won. Aren't you Bryce and Eleanor Kuzlan's youngest? Make us breath, I thought... Well, it's good to see you're all right.
do you suppose Eamon is playing at? Surely he doesn't expect us to believe Anora unfit to rule with her father to advise her. I wonder that myself. His timing is unfortunate. South Reach is overrun. I have little time to devote to politics at present. Overrun? Has the blight truly spread so far? Most of my freeholders have fled to Redcliffe and Lothering, but I doubt they'll be safe there for long. Maker's breath. Bryland, I had no idea. Be careful how loudly you speak of it. Wolf lost both his boys to Darkspawn, trying to evacuate West Hills. Lady Androste, pray for us. You'll have to excuse me. I'm engaged at present. I'm sorry. I'm busy at the moment. My shift's nearly over. Thank Andraste. Aren't you chilly? Chilly? I don't know this word. It's much warmer where you're from, isn't it? Don't you feel cold? I suppose. I don't imagine we can find a cloak in your size, can we? Hmm. What? Nothing, nothing. Don't mind me. Now I wonder where I could get a skein of good wool yarn. You hear about a note? Maybe we have some things we can talk about. Just see the conversation stays civil. If this is a trap, I... Zevran, is it? You are Talisan's responsibility. Other crows may try to kill you, but in my eyes, you're already dead. So, you are of no notice. But the Warden here, she is of great interest to me. I can't stress enough that I wasn't hired to do anything. An associate was, and he's failed. And failed badly. I'd like to see you do any better. Do you take me for a fool? That's a contract I'd never take. Hm. A client can always hire more help. If the job isn't done the first time. But I am hoping we can make sure that doesn't happen. I've only heard of the one time the entire House of Crows was hired for a job. A princely sum changed hands, and an entire noble family died. Not one soul survived. Ignacio has the right of it. Generally, it is one master, one job. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. You could say that. Not many people we can turn to. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived? Well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, Something unfortunate. Then, if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. You don't like what's on the scroll? Don't do anything. Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. There you go. Makes for fine reading. You're a cautious little weasel, Ignacio. What's your angle? If you're playing us false... My dance is not for you. I need to be real honest sometimes. And I can say I haven't asked anyone to do anything. I've just given someone something interesting to read. And you think that will save your hide when they nail it to a wall? You are already dead in my eyes, Horsan. Take care that I don't learn otherwise. If that's all, luck be to you.
enjoy the reading? What? You, you, you did what? <clears throat> Your point isn't lost on me. You might want to look in the chest behind me. There might be something of interest. If it isn't the champion who succeeded in the quest for the Sacred Urn, I had not expected to see you so soon. I've written to the Chantry, telling them of your adventures. They are interested in having me lead an expedition. What do you think of that? I'm quite excited. You made this all possible. I could never thank you quite enough, but I'm certainly going to try. Here, take this reward. I want you to have it. It will certainly do more good in your hands than lying around in this dusty house, eh? And the Arl is in Denerim for the landsmeet? I was relieved to hear that he is alive and well. It really is a miracle. And now, if you will excuse me, I have so much to prepare for. I wish Waylon was here to see all this.
Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven craft. Wrecked from Orzammar. You won't find better. Good day. The market is busy, is it not? Come, rest here. I have the finest selection of flowers and Orlesian scented oils in all of Denerim. For you, perhaps? The oils are very relaxing in baths, no? I am from Orlais. You've heard of us, no? Your Denerim is a fine city, but I miss my Varroyo. She's quite beautiful this time of year. Orlé has many, many good things, but it is sometimes not so good to be... common. My brother had trouble with a chevalier and we departed shortly after. You know so little of Orlé here. The chevaliers are knights of the highest order. They are the most skilled in the world. Their discipline, formidable. For their service, they're allowed... Privileges. They can do whatever they want to the lesser born. A chevalier took an interest in me. It was his right, but it was unwelcome. Incensed, my brother hit him over the head with a pot. Such a thing is almost treason. We left that very night and came here. Perhaps in your lands, but not in my kingdom. Many revere the Chevaliers for their skill, honor, and deeds. But others tread lightly. As lightly as the mouse in the cat's den. If you will excuse me, I... I feel a touch lightheaded. <laughs> 